Okay, let's read this uh, cervical spine, sagittal uh, T2 weighted images of the cervical spine. So uh, the cervical medullary junction appears normal, all right. Uh, as you can see, there is a reversal of the lordosis. There is end plate degenerated changes. If you look at the height of the vertebrae, two, three, four, you can see C5 and C6 appears anteroposteriorly flattened with a reduction in their vertebral body height. Uh, almost all the discs appear dark on T2 showing dehydration and at this level you can see this is C2-3, C3-4, C4-5 so at the level of uh, C4-5, C5-6 and C6-7 we can see that there is visible indentation or anterior or ventral uh, thecal sac compression all right so as you scroll from uh, uh, one end to the other you can see these impingements of the anterior epidural space and the thecal sac compression uh, when you are uh, reporting the c-spine if you see incidental lesions do document it so here this is the level of the thyroid i see a t2 hypointense uh, lesion over here let's have a look at it in uh, t1 what's happening uh, in t1 it appears uh, quite bright all right homogeneous fairly homogeneously bright so you know, quite often they are uh, nodules in the thyroid uh, it's very difficult to comment on uh, the nature of uh, uh, these nodules on cross-sectional imaging always recommend an ultrasound for detailed evaluation uh, uh, grading them based on the tyrad system and uh, managing appropriately all right